Hey guys, it's Lena here, and in this video, I'm super excited to introduce you to Augmented Brass, Arturia's virtual hybrid instrument merging sampled brass with synthesis. In this tutorial, I'll show you its unique features and explore some of the inspiring sounds you can make with it. Let's dive in. Augmented Brass is a modern hybrid software instrument that unites a library of orchestral and chamber brass samples with dynamic synthesis engines, equipping producers with a comprehensive palette of pristine, intimate, and commanding brass sounds for modern production. Its unique morphing of sampling and synthesis guarantees an endless flow of new tones and colors, letting you go beyond the conventional and unlock enhanced hybrid textures that are perfect for cinematic sound and professional sounding composition. Before we dive in, here are a few presets to give you an idea of how it sounds. Augmented Brass has two panels. First is the play page, which features the expressive morph control, plus seven macro knobs that allow you to quickly change the nature of your sound in a few clicks, like this. Then there's the advanced panel that offers deeper sound design control, letting you access augmented brasses two layers of sound based on your own custom combination of orchestral, chamber, and processed brass samples with its built-in synth engines. Starting with the basics, the menu in the top left corner shows options like saving or importing presets, while the library lets you browse and sort your presets by categories, styles, and types. The augmented brass experience starts with exploring the main panel's macros. The central interface is built around the morph control and seven macro knobs, which let you make instant sweeping changes to tone, character, color, pitch, envelope settings, and many other parameters. Here's an example of how fast the sound can be reshaped by manipulating these controls. It's worth noting that the macros are totally unique for each preset, giving you tons of variety to craft your own sounds with. The visuals represent your layers in real time, so you'll see them change depending on your combination of real or hybrid brass sounds. In the center of the main page, the morph knob lets you morph through ever-evolving sounds in between layers A and B, as well as adjusting up to eight parameters simultaneously.
This sound is a good example of how the morph knob can drastically change the nature of our sound. Let's now play a few more interesting presets to see precisely how other macros impact the sound. By increasing the motion control, we can introduce tremolo and vibrato-like modulations, injecting interesting movement into the sound, like this. The color macro, on the other hand, can make the sound brighter or darker, often linking to the filter parameters of both layers, like this. The time macro controls how sounds change over time, ranging from quicker attacks to long, slow burn releases. On top of these creative controls, you can introduce delay and reverb to add a sense of depth and space to any patch. You can also add more effects per layer to further customize a preset to suit your own sound. For example, one preset can have a pitch shift delay on layer A and a flanger on layer B. So every time we morph between them, each side of the morph macro introduces its own extra effect, emphasizing the ever-changing nature of augmented brass sound. That's it for the main page. Now let's focus on exploration of the advanced panel, where the heart of the instrument lies. This panel offers deeper access to layers A and B, your modulation, the arpeggiator, effects, and your macro customization. The Layers tab features two sound generators per layer, giving you a total of four sound generators to use simultaneously. Each sound generator has its own VCA, while each layer has its own filter and filter envelope. You can arrange these engines in multiple ways. Two synth engines per layer, two sample engines per layer, or one synth and one sample engine per layer, as well as having the ability to turn certain engines on and off. This gives you many different possible combinations to work with. On top of that, Augmented Brass comes with a new sample engine called Simpler, which serves as a traditional sampler with an array of useful controls and built-in sounds, as well as gives you an option to pan each part individually, allowing interesting stereo movement when using the Morph knob. The main sample engines are filled with rich, authentic and outside-the-box recordings of various brass instruments from chamber trumpets, to horns, to full orchestral articulations, to experimental processed and multi-sample sounds. Let's listen to a few examples of these samples now.
It's worth noting that outside of beautiful recordings of the brass, the sampler engines have built-in controls that help shape the sound of each sample. These adjust the stereo width of the sample or define the distance between a microphone and instrument. Let's hear these in action now. In the synthesis section, you'll find the synth engines with custom presets made specifically to complement the beautiful brass recordings further enhanced with the new simpler engine. Let's listen to a few of their sounds now. This selection of various sound generation methods will ensure that you have access to a variety of interesting timbres and textures to suit any style. The modulation page is where you can edit and control various aspects of the augmented brass built-in modulators, like LFOs, functions, random generators, or keyboard behaviors. Each of these comes with plenty of flexible parameters for deep and creative editing. The bottom bar displays every modulator and macro available in Augmented Brass, letting you easily create your own personal modulation routings. To create a routing, click on the desired macro or modulator block inside the bar and drag your mouse over the destination parameter that you want to control, like this. You can also click the plus icon next to a knob and then define the amount of modulation in the modulation source block. Adding additional parameters to the morph or any other front page macro works in the same way. It's important to remember that on top of the default routings, the Morph macro can control up to eight parameters from all over the instrument, while sound macros such as color, time, and motion can have six additional parameters attached to them. The color macro can control engines and filter parameters such as these, while time can control specifically amp and filter envelopes and their parameters such as attack or release times. The motion macro can, on the other hand, control modulator parameters, including LFO or function rates, like these. While the FXA and B macros can control four effects parameters, such as dry wet or feedback of the layer effects, with delay and reverb macros controlling the main delay and reverb.
Additionally, you now have an option to select which parts are targeted with tremolo and vibrato, allowing for more flexibility and deep control. Next up, there's the arpeggiator page, which simply allows you to create and play rhythmical patterns and sequences. With this section, you can enable or disable steps and control velocity and gait per step, add chords, as well as define the playback direction, time divisions, swing, and octave switching. The next page unfolds the effects section, which is divided into layer effects and main global effects, which are always delay and reverb. The layer effects are specific to their dedicated layers, while the global effects are applied to the output of both layers. Here's an example of two different effects affecting layer A and layer B. In the layer effects, each layer can hold two separate effects, allowing for four effects at once. In total, there are 14 available effects to choose from, from various reverbs and delays to sound sculpting and modulation effects. The global effects section contains three types of delay and two types of reverb, each one as spacious as the next. The last page of the advanced panel is the macros page. This shows the current mapped parameters for each of the sound macros – color, morph, time and motion, as well as reverb, delay and FX macros. Here you can easily see which parameters are represented by each macro and also define the amount of modulation for each of them, as well as change their modulation curve. This means you can always be in control of what is being played and modulated on the front page of Augmented Brass letting you easily change your mapped parameters and their values when needed. Before we finish up, let's play a few more presets to enjoy more of Augmented Brass's sound. And that's about it for this walkthrough. 
I hope this video showed you how creative augmented brass is and how valuable its sound can be for your own productions. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to Arturia's channel for more inspiring content in the future. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Thank you.